I recommend that you label all your kits with either letters of the alphabet or numbers and that way you can keep things separated and not lost. So when you first get your bricks, I showed you in a previous video how to um, label it via the, the computer after you've updated the hub or you can just update it by changing it on this screen. When you first connect or anytime you connect you can do that even via Bluetooth. There's also a good chance there to check the battery life too. I recommend that you get one of these label makers, they're pretty awesome and you can use them to label all your components. I like to keep all my hubs in a separate plastic container like this one. That way they're available for me to charge all at the same time. Um, you can also charge them even if they're in a robot that children have built. So you can see I've labeled them all from A to J, these particular ones. I've got a little sticker on the charger cable so that shows which way I need to plug it in and I have to point the sticker down for all my chargers then I know it's in the right way. It just saves a little bit of time and mucking around. So you, I recommend you also get one of these 10 port chargers. You can charge 10 at a time which is pretty awesome. And when they turn on you'll notice that you can actually turn them off. So when you first start charging them they go on which is a bit annoying because you can actually turn them off and they still charge. You'll see that there's a little LED light on the side that indicates if it's green they're fully charged and if it's red like this one then they need to be charged a bit more. But you don't need to have the LED patterns on the front, you can just turn it off. By having them all in their own little tub they're easy to transport, easy to keep track of and then you know which children have got which hubs and if there's one missing you can look in their kit to find it and it's just a really efficient way to look after your hubs. Please like and subscribe. Visit my website for more ideas on how you can use Spike Prime and other robots, robotman.com.au.